why use ELSD? ELSD is an alternative to refractive index, UV, conductivity, and various other forms of detection that are also out there that have been around for a long time. ELSDs are universal. They can see everything and they're mass proportional and non-specific. So if you get a small peak in a four component mixture, that's going to be your minor component. Your larger peak will be your major component. UV detectors and refractive index, that's not always the case. And not only that, the UV may only see two peaks and the ELSD may see four peaks. So two of them are non-chromophoric, two of them are chromophoric. So ELSD are the secret weapon for a lot of biotech and pharmaceutical companies because they see everything. Whether you want to see it or not, it's there. Okay, this is an ELSD chromatograph in millivolts, 0 to 200 millivolts vertical scale, and here's your time, 0 to 5 minutes. And this is an example of 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 component compound. The first peak is taurine, second peak is thiamine, third peak is pyridoxine, third is nicotinamide, five is cyanocabalamin, B12, vitamins, these are obviously vitamin analysis, and six is caffeine peak, and this seven is riboflavin. So this is a typical ELSD analysis of some compounds that are non-chromophoric. And the larger peak is clearly the major component to this mixture. Your minor component is going to be number four, and your intermediates are two, five, six, and seven. So the peak areas in your chromatograph, the peak report, will reflect the peak areas for each of these peaks. And you know that's your major, there's your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth in concentration. So this is all in relative concentration. That's the beauty of ELSD, is you get a mass proportional response. Whereas on a UV detector, peak number four may be huge and peak one may be small, it won't actually reflect the percentage mixture of the compound because peak number three is highly chrom chromophoric and absorbs a lot of light even though it's a minor mass and a major mass could have very low chromophore and you get a small response. So UV could mislead you in the actual response and purity of your compound. You can be better assured with ELSDs you're going to get a mass proportional purity compound. So you can assure that your product purity is correct, you can assure that your product percentage mixture is correct, your quality control mixtures are at the proper balance because it's mass proportional and non-specific. The response will be mass proportional on the ELSD.